But I don't know how we would leave. It's not like we can pack up our stuff and take off. We're kind of trapped here together. And I don't know how we got here either. That's a little embarrassing to say, but I don't know how we got here. I know there are a lot of great theories. I heard one recently that I enjoyed a great deal by this guy, Francis Crick. He was a Nobel Prize winner, not some kook. He had a hand in discovering DNA, and he was convinced that humans had arrived here on this planet via these little capsules that were fired out into deep space that were a combination of bacteria and DNA. And they would just travel indefinitely until they landed on the surface of something, and if the conditions there were optimal, evolution would take place, and we, humans, are the winners of that thing. We're the result of that happening, which feels pretty good to be part of a winning team. That's great. No matter how your life is going, you're on a winning team. And everyone's including, like, even those people at Walmart, the whole gang, we all made it. It feels fantastic. And it makes some sense, that theory. We have several pounds of bacteria in our digestive tract. We are made of DNA. It makes some sense. But, you know, it was a close race, that DNA race. You know, we're, we're 98% similar in DNA to chimpanzees. That was a close race. That was a photo finish. That was us just right at the wire, like, I got you, chimps. <laughs> Barely beating them. And don't let them forget it either. If you go to the zoo or something and see the chimps, let them know, like, number two. Forever number two. They all hate it. <laughs> but they weren't our only competition. We look at them and it makes sense. Like, oh, I, I could see that. But we share DNA with so many other things that blow my mind. Did you know we are 80% similar in DNA to fruit flies? <laughs> the minor amount of chuckling is accurate. <laughs> Everyone else is like, yeah, I can see it. 80%? <laughs> They're tiny. That's absurd. They're so tiny. 80%? We're so similar to them. We have similar taste sensibilities. And food companies will use them to test their products. Giant food companies will lock a bunch of them in a room with a bunch of different samples and be like, oh my God, they're loving number four. Wait till humans try it. And then we do. They're like, they were right once again. Pretty good olive oil. Those fruit flies. That's ridiculous. If you look down in the summer and you look in your beer and there is a fruit fly swimming around in the top of it, it didn't fall in there. It can fly. The fruit fly is in there because it also likes the taste. Which makes you respect it in a weird way. You're like, yeah, this guy gets it. That's exactly how I want to go out. 80%. We share 50% of our DNA with bananas. That is unacceptable. That is absurd. Just on a forensics level. It's just a guy showing up like, oh my god, that's a grisly crime. I'll bet that guy did it. Or a banana. 50-50 on this one. Leaning toward the guy. 50%. But that also means if that crick theory holds up, that means that hypothetically right now, there is a planet in a different galaxy with different conditions that is being ruled by bananas. <laughs> Why aren't we on our way there right now? And what did you just imagine when you thought of that? Were they tiny little banana people running around like, don't squish us? Or do they look just like us but made out of banana parts? Were their hands just a clump of bananas? Can you hug them or does bananas squish out everywhere? What's their relationship with peanut butter? And so on. I want to know. I don't know why everyone's not as excited as I am. We should be going there. We don't know what we're doing here. We're busy. We're doing stuff all the time, but we don't really know why. We've got a global economy and we're importing and exporting and everyone's getting up and going to work. And yet anytime we stop and we're like, hey, why are we doing all this? People are just like, I don't know. I just don't want to die. Keep it moving. <laughs> we just keep going. No idea what we're doing. I think if we can have a tooth fairy and an Easter bunny, we can absolutely have a made up reason as to why we're here just to stop people from asking. So the next time someone goes, hey man, why do you think we're here? You'd be like, oh, you haven't heard about the bananas? <laughs> yeah, we gotta all come together and put aside our differences and learn to respect each other. And then we're gonna all come together and go find a planet being ruled by bananas. <laughs> Don't you wanna see them? Don't you wanna just, if nothing else, meet the village elder? <laughs> this is old guy comes slithering out, like, I've been alive for 23 days, kill me. <laughs> Fruit flies buzzing all around him. <laughs> How do you think they walk? Do they have giant bow-legged banana legs? Or does it like open behind them like a cape and leave a gross trail as they drag it behind them? <laughs> Who knows? I gotta go see them. We should be on our way there right now. I think we should go find the bananas if for no other reason, it will really piss off the chimps. <laughs> we become best friends with their favorite food. How fun would those photos be to send back? It's like, yep, it is what you think it is. Miss you guys. <laughs>